Need something? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming. Paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. What's to tell? I was sired by a vampire named Cazador. Everything before that is so long ago, it's ancient history. And everything that came after, well, um, I'd rather not reflect on that. I was attacked. A gang of vagrants, a tribe of wandering Gur, took issue with a ruling I'd made. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. I was a magistrate, working to keep the peace in Baldur's Gate, imprisoning troublemakers, that kind of thing. I can't remember much, truth be told. Centuries of torment will do that to you. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn, kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. And clearly the tadpole. If we can't understand it, we'll never control it. And I'm not about to hand control of my life from a vampire lord to those slimy gray beasts. <laughs>